So that's a new generation. We have this video to watch. We're not going to talk about life plans. We're not going to talk about the changes that might come to the stream because I'm swapping from NVIDIA to AMD. We're not worried about that. What we're worried about is we're worried about this YouTube video I saw. This showed up on my showed up on the, on my feed. Okay. I follow a lot of fighting game and like gaming related YouTube stuff. I don't really do uh I don't I don't think I have like normie YouTubers that I follow. Like I don't follow like a like a SSS sniper wolf or whatever. I don't know. Whoever like the normie YouTubers are, right? I don't follow them. Sell me one of your 27 arcade sticks. You mean 11. And sure, why not? Um, this is by Action Esports. I'm going to react to this on stream. It says, the most broken moves in fighting games. I'm sure that this is like not a comprehensive list. I'm sure they're not doing like a top five or a top ten. They're just naming a few. And I want to see if there's any on here that I know and understand even before, um, even before it starts. Like, let's hope, right? Because... The, the dream is we're going to see, I already know we're going to see a good few normie games. And then we might see like some crazy wild shit, right? It's, say it's like five moves. We're going to see like three or four normie moves and like one wild ass game or wild ass move that most normal people have never seen before. So let's see if we know the games and know the moves. We're counting down some of our favorite Okay, okay, okay. Wait, let's pause. Let's go back. Was that King Tekken 1? That was King Tekken 1, right? I know this one. Okay, he's doing that, but that's not the move. The move is down 4 to 1. If they're going to show Tekken, and they're going to show King from Tekken 1, undisputed top 1 best in the game, they're going to show down 4 to 1, which was so plus on block that you could get a full combo. So if you saw the startup of it, you were supposed to just eat it. You were supposed to just take the hit so you didn't die, which is really funny. Down some of our favorite broken moves. This is a normal YouTube channel? Yeah, it is, right? Like, this is one of the most normal YouTube channels I watch. I can't believe he did it. I cannot believe he did it. I don't know what's broken in that game. There's nothing broken in that game. That game sucks. I don't know what it's doing on here. Unblockable setups. Is is there really an unblockable setup here? Oh, is that when he almost fought somebody? Dude, that kid almost got his ass beat. Ah, Meta Knight side B. Love that. So, without further ado, Kara Fukiyage? Are they talking about Fuki? There's no way they're gonna call that one of the most broken moves of all time, are they? Kara Fukiyage from from Makoto? Man, I hope not. I mean, it's good. MK11 in itself is a broken game. True. To kick Very true. Off, we have kings down forward one. I fucking and called it, boys. This shit was so dumb. Kings DF1 is a normal that's better on block. Than <laughs> I'll explain. I, I know they're gonna explain it, but it was better on block than it was on hit. You have like a second and a half on block of them being staggered and comboable. But on hit, it was like plus two or plus three. So you would just like take the small hit on on hit rather than take the stagger and be like launched, basically. Then it is on hit. And not just a little bit better. Landing this on block leaves your opponent completely. Yeah. You have to hold that. That's a real combo. And a half second. In short, it's like 90, it's like plus 92. Frames for this move, it's better to drop your guard and just get hit. hit. Just yeah, let him beat your ass, bro. On hit, the move is plus nine. Plus nine. You'll take My bad. Some damage, but nothing too serious. On block, however, plus ninety three. Yeah. Oh, and it also staggers, so you can get a full combo if you wave dash. You get guaranteed float launched, and there's nothing you can do about it. Surely this was a mistake from an intern who accidentally typed the wrong value when coding the move, but it made it through all the way until the game went gold, and we're so glad it did. Yikes. This move alone makes King the undisputed top one. Character. Yeah. There's no one better. There's no one even close to King. Storm? I see three Storm, three Cable. It can't be Cable. It's got to be Storm. It can't be Marvel 3 Storm, though, right? They're going to talk about, like, X-Men versus Street Fighter Storm. This has got to be a bait. It's going to be X-Men versus Street Fighter Storm. She's going to be doing the fucking uh, float jump heavy punches to build Hellstorm, basically. We have Storm. Storm is one of the best characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but there's another fighting game where she's even better. I knew it. It was a bait. It was a bait. It was a bait. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. She had the dumbest shit in the game in this game. This was so stupid. And there was like only like three or four characters with air dashes as far as I remember, so it was really hard to chase her. I think it was like Chun-Li had a triple jump, Magneto had an air dash, and... Uh, Storm had an air dash. So it was very hard to, like, chase her whenever she was doing, like, the, the auto-cancel jump heavy punches to build meter. Because you build meter on Whiff in this game. Definitely, you only need one to win the game. Of the roster's 17 characters, one stands, quite literally, above the rest. 
Storm is one of two characters in XVSF that has an air dash. But Storm does something it's not supposed to. If Virgil was in there, I would not be disappointed. And then there's If Virgil is not in there, I would be disappointed. I don't know. There's some older games with way more broken things than anything Virgil has and anything Zero has. Like Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a fucked up game, but I think these older Marvel games are even more fucked up if, if we're being real. We're just young. So we don't think about the old games and how fucked up they were. I want you to watch this and tell me if you think this is fair. There's this. A super air dash. By the way, no one else has air dashes except her and Magneto. Look what she can do. Yeah. And that combines with another coding error. When in the air, Storm It auto cancels. You ca how are you supposed to contest that? It's a fucking wall. It's a wall. It's a wall. It's an infinite. It's a it's a meter bill tool. Who has a triple jump are the only two characters that can hope to contest Storm while she's busting What do you do? Aerial style. But if they fail to get a combo going before Storm jumps a couple of Woo, times, Woo! Look at that! Build meter on whip, boys. Meter, which means she can start using Hailstorm, which covers the full screen and, and chips. chips. Yeah. So the basic game plan is: jump into the air, build Hailstorm, <laughs> shoot it at your opponent who is forced to block, and that'll give you enough time to do it all over. Yay! And it wasn't even a fun playstyle. Notorious for cheap moves. Wait, notorious for cheap moves? That looks like injustice. Ah oh, man. Unfun mechanics. Honestly, we <sighs> injustice, cheap moves, and unfun mechanics. Ah, oh, there's so many things in injustice I could mention. I could mention like the Batgirl loops. I could mention General Zod as a whole. I could mention Martian Manhunter. I could mention Superman One as uh, uh, Superman from Injustice One, like just uh, entirety as a character. I think it's four two three or whatever, or four two one. But they said mechanic. So here's my bet. It's going to be one of the stage hazards because casuals fucking hate stage hazards. Like, right, we're on a normal YouTube channel, so it's got to be the stage hazards. And it's more than likely either going to be the Secret Laboratory stage hazard or the Gotham Streets dumpster stage hazard. I think the dumpster stage hazard's probably the most fucked up. If it's stage hazards, not transitions. It's got to be the dumpster. If it's if it's stage specific, it's Fortress of Solitude. You think so? You you don't think Secret Laboratory or the um the dumpster's worse? I think the dumpster's worse. If it's a stage hazard, it's going to be a dumpster. If it's a character, it's going to be Martian Man Hunter or Superman. This one's tough. This one's tough. We could have picked any of a dozen or so moves and <laughs> Injustice 2! <laughs> compelling case for why it's broken. But here's my favorite from Injustice Gods. Okay, the first Injustice. Dumpster. I fucking knew it! Yep! The fucking dumpster, boy! This shit was so fucking stupid. <laughs> Let me explain the dumpster. If you're a power character, you can throw the dumpster. And when you throw the dumpster, the dumpster goes back into its original spot. So you can hold people in the corner by throwing the dumpster on them as an OTG unblockable that does 25% damage. If they try to jump, you anti their jump. If they get hit by your grounded combo, they get hit by your grounded combo, and you throw a dumpster at them to finish the combo. That's what he's going to explain. There's like two characters that could rinse it really well. And those characters were Green Lantern and Batman. So... My guess... Oh, yeah, you're right. Agile characters should spam it. That means... Green Lantern couldn't spam him. He can only do it once because he's a power character. So that means they're going to mention Batman. Because Batman can loop it. Green Lantern only gets it once to close out the round. So for those of you who don't know, Injustice Gods Among Us has stage hazards called interactables. There are cars, elevators, drones, all sorts of things that can be used differently by various characters. There's even a dead pig that slides on a I think there's got to be another agile character that can loop it really well. But I think it's going to be Batman because of his trait, too. But when you get to the alley in Gotham City, there's a dumpster close to the Ace Chemical truck that is absolutely broken. This dumpster can be thrown by power characters and deals 25%. Look, look, yeah, it's Batman. It's Batman. See, there's the anti That's what I mean, right? And then once you anti them out of the air, they're knocked down and you OTG them with this. And then you just catch their jump or keep throwing dumpster at them. Yeah, it, they're going to mention Batman specifically. I know it. Because trait is so stupid. You see how he's throwing that? Yep. <laughs> on most characters, the dumpster is a pretty good way to tack on some damage at the end of a combo. But with a character like Batman, this dumpster becomes I knew a it. tool of I knew absolute it. I knew it. It had to be. Once you get your opponent cornered, <laughs> you basically threaten the air with projectiles, throw your batarang, create a situation where they have to block. <laughs> There's the fucking trait. Trait with that is really stupid. I want to play this game again. It's funny. On our list is a Jojo. 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 Jojo's. 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 Is it, it it's got to be pet shop. But what about pet shop? It says moves. Oh, dude, it's down there at the bottom. I just saw it. No, I see it. It's at the bottom. It says right there icicle break. 
So that's um Icicle Break, if I'm not mistaken, is the uh I should probably try to cover that so I don't look. I can see it on my OBS because I'm looking at OBS. That's the only reason why I noticed it. Um it like spawns an icicle, and the icicle itself you can use as a um you can use as a cross up, you can use it as a overhead for lows, you can use it as a uh combo breaker too. Like so you can call it in block stun. I remember that being stupid. You can make it land in front of your opponent and hit them in the back. You can make it land behind your opponent and hit them in the front, or you can make it hit them on the head because it always lands as a high or as, as an overhead, and then you can hit them low. Um there might be something else I'm missing, but that that's why this move is really stupid. Ojo reference. Am I gonna get DMC hit? Fuck. Am I is it over? I'm DMC. -ed. was featured in our video on broken fighting game characters from I don't know why they thought this shit was a good idea. They were like, let, let him rock. Let the bird cook, bro. The fact that he's immune to low profile attacks, there's one move in his kit that is utterly horrendously broken. His icicle break. Hey, look, there it is. Calls this bad boy in. An icicle appears at the top of the screen and falls after a set period of time. The distance of the icicle can be set by the pet shop player. So here's why it's broken. So what? It's an overhead projectile, right? Wrong. First off, Pet Shop can set where the icicle appears based on what button he's holding. This means you can put it behind your opponent to cross them up. The icicle has to be blocked high, yep. and while it's dropping, Pet Shop is fully actionable. So he can hit so you low. He can set up a 100% unblockable situation where the icicle hits overhead while he hits low, where the icicle hits behind and he hits you out of block stun, or any other tricky mix ups. So, what's the counterplay? Well, if you move forward to try and dodge the icicle, Pet Shop can press pretty much any button and force you to block, meaning you'll get crossed up. If you try and throw out a move to counter Pet Shop attacking low, you'll still get hit yep. and knocked down, putting you into Oki and giving Pet At Shop least it's just Oki. Like, the counterplay is you just, like, take the hit in the right spot so that you can, like, just get knocked down. Apart from dealing a huge amount of damage, off of one icicle, Pet Shop can land a guaranteed touch of death combo. Oh. It's basically a choose your own adventure. Oh. Game, but every option sends you to the last page of the book. Where and you fucking die. <laughs> he said it. He said it to you. <laughs> okay. So basically just pressure him from the start of the round and never give him enough space to call in an icicle. And you might stand a chance of winning. Right? Damn, this bird's getting his ass beat. Pet Shop can call in icicles. During block stun. Yeah, that I remember. If he's stuck in a block string, he can hold the free win button call in an icicle, drop it on his opponent's head, and guard cancel into a touch of death. Guard canceling into a touch of death is fucked up. Games, and there are numerous characters in JoJo's that are overtuned, but being able to set up a Yeah, guard canceling into a touch of death seems fucked up. Combo into a touch of death. That I didn't know. I just knew that it was a combo breaker. I didn't know you could straight up like kill someone because of it. What the fuck? Character. I guess yeah, I was like he's banned, so it's not like I see a lot of pet shop. All right. Here's the last move for Okay, okay. Let me not I Well, look, can I get it to go away? Like, is there a way I can get that to go away? I'm trying not to look. Oh, we don't even know the game yet. Honestly, I saw this on Twitter and felt like I... Okay, well, it says Ned Flounder is infinite. Great. I could not see it, but whatever. I've never played this game before. So, no, I I, I don't know what the Ned Flounder infinite is. Let's see. I've been dazzled. This is the one I don't know. I'm sorry, what? Is, was she just jumping on his head? That's crazy. Absolutely gonna kick your keister. Ned Flanders, when he gets I've never played this game. Immediately resurrects what? With full health. Okay. Meaning so he's got he two health bars. He has double the health of any other character in the game. He's basically Gil from Third Strike. Broken, right? But Ned Flanders Ned's instead. Ned's resurrect is his second best move. Flanders' best move is his high power attack, which calls upon God himself to smite his enemies. Flanders drops to his knees, says a prayer, and seven bolts of lightning What the fuck? Utterly obliterating any non-believer. That's toxic. Way. This is the most damaging attack in the game. It disrupts enemies, meaning you can't be. You can't even combo him during it because the lightning bolts. Who are knocked down, giving you. Is that blackface? No, it's black body, bro. Even if an opponent is at full health, the lightning. Beanie twenty eight slurs in chat. Giving Ned enough time to land a grab, wait for them to get struck by the next bolt of lightning, and immediately regrab them. That's toxic. You can infinite. And pinning to win the round. Wow. While your opponent is running around the ring trying to dodge lightning bolts, you call in a second round of lightning, doubling how many they have to dodge. <laughs> or how about when you get a knockdown, you start spamming your projectile, homing Bibles that lock them. What the fuck? Yo, Ned's broken. 
absolutely ding dong lootly game breaking. And it's one of many reasons this stupid game is so beloved. That's hilarious. What was your favorite move? Which one should we include in our next list of So they didn't do they didn't do Meta Knight. They showed him, but they didn't do Meta Knight. And I think Meta Knight could have made it onto this list. Neutra be like completely invalidate so many characters. I think these are all pretty good moves. Moves slash characters. Cause like Pet Shop as a whole uh is already pretty obnoxious and fucked up, right? Uh, and then you just tack that on top and it makes him really stupid. King specifically, without that one move, he'd be fine. He wouldn't be super overtuned, right? So it it honestly just depends on the character. Plus the move sometimes. Like, I think Meta Knight without Tornado is already by far and away the best character in Brawl. And then you add Tornado on top and he's like, guess who's back? Back again. Meta Knight's back. Hello, friend. Yeah, that shit's annoying. What's my... what's What what move would I want to add to this list? If I could think of a, a broken fighting game move. And broken, like, in a good way, right? Like, like super overtuned. Not okay. Broken fighting game move. You guys let me know what broken fighting game moves you would want to add to this. Actually, go watch the original video, too. This normie YouTube channel, Action Esports. I think I actually am subscribed. Yeah, I'm subscribed. I'm not a, I'm not a fake fan. I'm subscribed. Cool. Um, man. Quinn's Illusion Super? I don't think Quinn's Illusion Super is actually good. I don't think Quince is actually good. <laughs> Broken fighting game move I would add to this list. Damn, Viola back throw is kind of... Viola back throw is kind of hidden. I think it's Viola back throw. <laughs> From Soul Calibur 5. She could infinite off her back throw. She could infinite off it, cause ring outs off of it. Uh, basically it. The infinite did one damage. So you would time people out or you would, you would timer scam or you would ring them out. And both of those always feel really bad. And you can't break back throws unless your name's Voldo. So it's gotta be it's gotta be that. 